Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and in today's episode, we've got part three of our Mixing with Fab Filter series. And again, if you haven't seen parts one and two, check the links down in the description below. But this is basically based upon the fact that Fab Filter is one of the first third-party plugin manufacturers to support both Apple's new M1 chips and their new OS, Big Sur. So if you're getting a new Mac or you have a new Mac and you want to start mixing with some third-party plugins, this is one of your few options you have out there right now. And I'm going through an entire mix trying to use only Fab Filter plugins. In part one, we did the drum kit. In part two, we did the bass part. And now we're going to take a look at the guitars and keys. Let's get right to it. Starting with our first guitar part, I'll bring it in while we have the bass and drum still playing. So our first guitar part is panned hard left, our second guitar part is panned hard right to kind of give some width with these guitars. I'm going to bring in a little bit of EQ on this first part. So what I basically did is boost it up a little bit of that low end, get some low mid information out of there. It's a little bit harsh in the upper mid range. So just dipping the littlest bit of that out. Actually taking a little bit more of that out. Now what we're going to do to make it sound even better in stereo, this is a great trick if you've got stereo panned guitars, is we're going to copy that instance of Pro Q3 over to the other track. But what we're going to do with these mid bands is invert them. It's basically the opposite EQ moves that we made on the first guitar part. So where we boosted the low end, we're cutting the low end. Where we cut the top end, we're boosting it up. And that creates a nice separation between the guitars. Now, because we're pushing so much gain up here, I do need to bring it down just a little bit in the output. So with those two bypassed, you can hear they're kind of competing for that same upper mid-range space, but with that EQ move engaged on both parts, getting a little bit more separation between them. Now, I want to kind of mellow out that upper end here. So what I'm going to do now is bring in Saturn 2, put it on some nice tape saturation. I'm going to put subtle tape here. Just that little bit in the upper mid range. I'm going to create a, an upper range band here. That little bit should help smooth things out. It is subtle, but it brings down a little bit of that harshness. Let's bring in our next guitar part right here. Just some slight EQ. The next guitar part's a double of that, so I'm just gonna bring same EQ to it. So this last guitar part barely comes in, it's the very end. Slightest little bit of an EQ push in the lower mids. One more guitar part here. So 
So you'll notice I used all EQ here, but no compression. These guitar parts have distortion on them. Generally, if you've got distorted guitars, you don't need a whole bunch of compression because the distortion and the amp characteristics automatically compress. So what I'm going to do instead is use a little bit of parallel compression here. So I'm going to take all of these and put a send on for my parallel guitars part. And in the parallel guitars, I'm going to insert our Pro C2 compressor. We're going to do some punch compression, hard knee. I'm going to go for a pretty high ratio, about 7 to 1 or so. Pretty fast attack and release times. And bring down that threshold for some parallel compression. Let's go back to a different part. So I'll just dial this parallel track in. Without it. And with it. It just brings some nice thickness to that guitar part and doesn't have any channel compression, just parallel compression going on. Now I'm going to send this all to our guitar verb and create a sense of space for the guitars with Pro R. We're going to go for a preset. I want kind of a small space. How about we go with glassy guitar room? Dial that in. Full mix, it's on a send. I'll bring this guitar verb part up as it plays. I like that, just a nice subtle sense of space there. I'm not going to use the guitar delay right now. I don't think it needs it. Let's dial in this organ part. I really don't think it needs much besides some high pass filtering. I'm not even going to compress it, but I do want to distort it a little bit and probably in parallel. So I'm going to bring in Saturn 2. I'm going to act as if we're putting this through an amp first. We're going to go with a crunchy amp. Maybe we'll try some saturation too. Dial the mix back, bring it back down in the mix. I think the guitars are a little bit too loud, so at the bus level, I'm going to bring them down just a little bit. Now we're hearing the bass isn't cutting through quite as nicely. So what I'm going to do is bring that bass track up a little bit and also bring our bass saturation up. a little bit of rebalancing there. So there it is, a little bit of EQ, some slight saturation, and that dials in our guitar and organ part along with our drums and bass using only FabFilter plugins. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.